morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Tuesday of the first week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth shall declare, declare your prayers. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our mighty King and Lord. Please be seated. The man whose deeds are blameless, and whose heart is pure, will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever, because His kingdom lasts for all ages. For He scatters and then has mercy. He casts down the depths of the netherworld, and He brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. We will gather you from all the Gentiles, among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you 
and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile I praise him, and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you, and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty, and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. For praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a strength, ten string lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the, of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care of him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet, at present we do not see all things subject to him, but we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor. Because he suffered death, he for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God, he might ta taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates 
and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. Please stand. Alleluia. Receive the word of God, not as the word of man, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished with his teachings, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit confused him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, today we have now completed our Advent and Christmas season. And thus we begin the liturgical, liturgical season of ordinary times. The ordinary time must be lived in our life, not only simply time, but both an ordinary and extraordinary way. First of all, we begin this strategical season with an extraordinary calling from God. We are called by God like Mary. It is important to understand that in the incarnation, which we especially celebrated 
in Advent and Christmas change the world forever. Now that God has united himself with human nature in the person of Jesus Christ, God's new kingdom of grace and mercy was at hand. Our world and our lives are changed because what God did. And Jesus began his public ministry like we have heard in today's gospel. He began to inform us through his preaching of this reality. He started his preaching, teaching, and healing ministry. Jesus was never try, tired of healing the sick, thus demonstrating the mercy and compassion of his heavenly Father to every sick person who approached him with trusting faith. Today, we are here also approaching him with trusting faith. Jesus, in today's gospel, met the city of Capernaum on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, the center of the fishing, his headquarters. The people were impressed by, by the authority of his teaching. What the difference between the Old Testament prophet's teaching and Jesus' teaching? As we know, the Old Testament prophet has taught using God's delegate authority. And the scribe and also the Pharisees taught quoting Moses, the prophet, and the great rabbis. But Jesus taught using his own authority and knowledge as God, perfect accomplishment of God's will, and the absolute confidence in God. His authority is quite different. Jesus taught that to reign is to serve. Those in, a, in the authority are called to be public servant, seeking the common good and benefit to all, especially the most vulnerable, the sickness, the needy, all of us here. We trust Jesus and we, are, we trust on Him because His authority is different. Like Mary, of course, the handmaid of the Lord. The second part of the gospel today describes a healing by exorcism with Jesus performed in the synagogue, synagogues. We are told how Jesus, using his authority as God, cast out the devil by just one command, be silent and come out of him. In the first century Palestine, the most sicknesses especially mental illnesses, were considered to be the result of demonic position, and both Jewish and pagan exorcists used language, procedure, and physical force in their exorcism. Demons speak directly through this man, which indicate that the man was fully possessed. And though we do not see this form of manifestation often, it doesn't mean that the evil one is any less active today. Today, upon the fact that the evil one is constantly at work all around us, consider the people and circumstances in our life where the pure and the holy truth of God is attacked and rejected. Many happen in our life. We do not know many times, but this is the reality. The devil usually prefer to remain hidden and deceptive, presenting himself as an angel of light so that his evil ways are not known very clearly. Those whom he controls often do not know even, know how much they are influenced by the evil ones. Why did this, this demon manifest himself in such an uh, invisible way? because the demon was directed, confronted with the authority of Jesus. 
Because the authority of Christ is not being exercised by the Christian faithful to combat the evil one. And because we are often afraid in the face of evil and fail to confidently and charitably stand our ground with Jesus. I remember vividly when we, I am a parish priest, one friend asked me to pray because of the attack by the devil. Even me, I am afraid. I do not know, can I, by prayer, help him? So many of us got afraid. But how we should do? We, don't, we know that when the evil one is confronted with the pure presence of Christ, with the truth of the gospel that set us free, and with Jesus' authority, this confrontation often forced the evil one to react by manifesting his evil. We know by our head, our knowledge, the most important thing also we know by our heart, by our own belief, that Jesus is with us. There were numerous times when Jesus directly confronted demons in the scriptures. It's time he rebuked them and exercised his authority over them. The passage that we have read to this gospel, at one such case, the fact that the evil show himself over and over in the gospel tell us that the evil one is real and need to be dealt with appropriately. The appropriate way to deal with the evil one and his fellow demons is to rebuke them with the authority of Jesus. When Jesus himself, Jesus Christ himself, in the calm but definitive and authoritative way. When Jesus commanded the evil one to depart, it did so at once, and it rushed to depart, confused the man. Thus, Jesus demonstrated that he is the Messiah, the Savior, more powerful than the demons. In this, it is in those situations more than any other that Jesus wants to boost, bestow upon you his divine authority to confront evil, rebuke it, and take authority over it. So, don't be afraid. This is primarily done through prayer and deep trust in the power of God. Don't be afraid to allow God to use us to confront the activity of evil one in this world. In order to continue Jesus' preaching and healing mission, we too need to have our spiritual batteries recharged every day by prayer as Jesus did. In us, there is space for God that in this presence of God in us. So, it's very important for bringing light to the world with all its sadness, with its problems. In the press, the expression is realized in the faith. In the faith, we open the doors of our existence so that God may enter us, so that God can be the power that gives us life and part of our existence. We should learn from our mother Mary. In us, there is a room. Let us open ourselves like Mary opened herself, saying, Let your be will done. I am the servant of the Lord. By opening ourselves to God, we lose nothing. On the contrary, our life become rich and great. Today, upon the beginning of this new liturgical season, use as an opportunity to remind ourselves of the importance of both daily praying and studying most of the time pondering the public ministry of Jesus and all he taught. Woman, behold your son. This is your mother. Mary, totally united to God, has a heart so big that all creation can enter this heart. 
Mary is close. She can hear us. She can help us. She close to every one of us. In God, there's a room for man, and God is so close. And Mary, united to God, is very close. She has heart as great as the heart of God. Let us pray to Him to put Mary on our path like a light that also help us to become a light and to carry this light into the night of our life. In our likeness, let us draw closer to our blessed mother so that she may bring us closer to Jesus the healer. Jesus, we trust in you. Ama Mary, we love you. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. God, truly powerful, touch us. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us that world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies, in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That we may grow, that we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. For our Pope, the Caliph of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and all for those whom we have promised to pray, we pray. God, truly powerful, touch us. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry of Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, we pray. God, truly powerful, touch us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our own personal intention, we pray. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the bread of we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. The fruit of the wine and the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people obtain, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devout in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. Broke it and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death. Oh 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and Fidelis, our Exalted Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the, of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and with all saints, Saint Dominic, Saint Martin the Porres, Saint Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Lord's command, we pray the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take Amen. away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon pakibaba na po ang face mask kapag sinabi sa inyo body of Christ tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang ostia at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang ostia huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalin sa upuan ng ostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito salamat po Please stand. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God, God has raised up for us a mighty, mighty Savior, Savior as, as he, he promised, promised through the, the words, words of his, his holy prophets. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you, those you renew with your sacrament may also serve with life pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for the coming of this Mass. Again, in our illness, let us draw closer to our Blessed Mother so that she may bring us closer to Jesus, the Healer. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our fraternity. Turn with kindness toward our sickness, brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, that will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mystery of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to honor and glory to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of Rosary of Manawak, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>